everyone, here are three underrated horror movies you can watch right now on Netflix. Hope you enjoy. Strangers Pray at Night is a slasher that takes place in a trailer park, as a family of four are hunted by three familiar masked killers. I might catch some flack for this opinion, this movie only has a 35% audience and critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, but I liked Strangers Pray at Night. This is a fun entry into the slasher genre. We don't get many slashers anymore and that's a major bummer. I wish there were more movies like this. It has a cool look, a cool soundtrack, some fun kills, and a really, really fucking awesome scene in a pool. Are the characters sometimes dumb? Yeah, of course. What did you expect? Did you want to watch a 25 minute long movie where everyone escapes due to their sound logic and reasoning? Or did you want to see a girl in a doll mask pop out of nowhere with a knife? Strangers Pray at Night is everything you'd expect in a modern slasher, and for that, I recommend it. Bad Match is a horror movie centered around a dating app, telling the tale of a guy who matches with a girl who might just be a little too into him. From that description and the title, you're probably thinking this sounds like a shitty Hallmark movie. On the surface, it sounds exactly the same as the other 210 obsession movies out there. A guy will match with a girl, she'll become crazy and obsessive, ruin his life, kill some of his friends, and he'll ultimately defeat her in the end. It's a very predictable formula that you've seen, but this movie is anything but predictable. It takes a couple of hard, hard left turns into insanity at about the halfway mark. It's still not an amazing movie by any means, but it's competently made, and I think it's worth experiencing for the twists alone. I recommend Bad Match if you're looking for a fun, low stakes movie with some very unexpected turns. I had a blast watching this with some friends. The Invitation tells the story of a man who gets invited to a dinner party hosted by his ex-wife and her new husband, where he begins to suspect there's something more sinister behind the event. The Invitation is not in-your-face jump scare horror, but rather it is more psychological or situational horror. As the movie progresses, a palpably uncomfortable atmosphere is built. Tension between characters and the tension of the situation continually increases to build audience anxiety and suspense until it's all ready to boil over. The performances are great across the board, especially the lead and his ex-wife. It's well paced. For being a single location, I never found that I was bored. I'd like to say more and point out specific details, but it's the kind of movie where I really can't say much without giving away story. So I will say that I highly recommend that you check out The Invitation for yourself if it sounds at all like something you would enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. I'll be back in 2022 with more horror videos. Happy New Year, everyone, and I'll see you next week.